Hey y'all, it's Jazabel, and I am about to start um, replacing all of the icy brick building blocks in my cathedral with the uh, combination of fulgonate and adamantine that you see below me. This is actually, I think, 900, yes, 971 building blocks. So I just, well, I didn't craft my fingers off because since they were so nice as to add uh, mass production, didn't have to worry about that. However, placing 971 items, pain in the butt. So we're going to head out to Freeport so we can move these items over to the other zone. Um, and once they are in the other zone, then I will start the whole replacing thing. So first thing I'm going to do is while I'm out here in Freeport, uh, I am going to open my character window here, go to build materials, which is the secluded or er, uh, the, the snowy dwelling where I have all of the items. And I'm going to say move items, and I want to move them to the secluded sanctum because that is where uh, my cathedral is. Now you can see uh, it's very very red right now and um, that's because for some reason it's displaying um, both building blocks and regular items combined. I am not sure why but actually, let's try. Yeah it's still doing that. So let's go on in and we will begin. Here we are in the uh, in the zone, and uh, as you can see, the icy brick tiles are incredibly bright in here. And this is not because of any lights that I have placed in the zone. This is actually the ambient lighting in the zone. Um, in fact, let's see what happens if we lower display lighting. So if we say number of lights down to one, yeah, nothing happens. If these had been the actual, if I had like placed lights that had light, or that produced light, um, that would have changed. So uh, there's no specular lighting on or anything like that. So this is just the ambient light. So you can see it change a little bit when I lower it. And even when it's all the way, my lighting is all the way down. That's still really, really bright, so I'm just going to hit cancel and blind myself by doing that. Woo! Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is, now that we're here, we're going to save a layout with... Um, if you look at the house, you can see 932 uh, items here and... Uh, oops. 1195 building blocks. Uh, I actually already replaced this section with building blocks because I wanted to see how it would look before I went through it and replaced the entire zone. So uh, the building blocks, that's why I only sent over um, 971 instead of the full 1195 building blocks. Actually, I, I think four of those. Four, four six, eight, ten. 12 of those are, are not uh, <laughs> these building blocks, but I don't think it really... Oh, plus the tiles. I forgot about the, the window tiles. Those count as building blocks, too. Okay, ignoring me, because if, if it were up to me, I'd probably go through and like count all the tiles I used for the floors and the windows and things to see exactly how many icy building blocks there are. Um, but we don't really care that much. Just know that there's close to a 1,000. Um, so, I saved my width. I'll go to the layout editor because, oh, that's right. You can see by moving the house items over, um, I'm apparently lagging. There we go. By moving the house items over, I actually have more items in the moving crate than it should be able to hold. Uh, that You're not supposed to do that. Um, it's not supported, and normally I wouldn't do that. 
and I will be clearing out the moving crate so that it falls within the accepted uh, number of items. However, in order to swap out these items, I needed to overstuff the crate because I already had junk in the crate. So, we're gonna go, I said, I think I said, we already saved the width. And we'll do it again just in case. Here's the layout editor, file, open, new width. That was an old file I was working with. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is say filter, use, oh, you can't see, darn it, let me, uh, let me add that to the way of it, okay, so, don't mind the random windows that are going to pop up for a second, do you click to, where is this, copy, okay, Add window, window capture, we're going to call this filters, windows, entire window filter. Okay, there it is. Now, I'll move it more towards the center. Scale it up so you can actually see the numbers I'm putting in there. Yeah. Position, I want to actually position it in the center. There we go. Now we want to say plugins. Oops. No, we want to go settings. Scene switcher. Filters. I want to add the filter. Oh, the window filters. Add. Fly. Okay. So now it should switch back and forth automatically. All right. So here we are at the filter window, and. It starts off default like that. There's nothing checked because when you open the editor, you're not using any filters. So I'm going to do that and I want to type in icy brick. Apply filter. So, probably because it's not called icy brick. Clear filter. It is called ice brick. Right. That makes sense. All right, so filter, name is Icebrick, apply filter. There we go. So now we're gonna select everything, and I did that by clicking this corner right here. Right click, which you can't see the right click menu. I'm gonna say create group, and we're gonna name my group, uh, let's call this old walls. Create. Sort by item name. And all right, first things first, we want to replace the ice brick block with um, what is it in the manifest here? Item name, ice brick block, block of fancy fulgenate. That was the one I wanted. So we're gonna select the item ID here, copy it. What was that? Go back here. Select all. With the ice brick blocks. Scroll, scroll. There they are. Select them. I'm going to go right click. You can't see it. Click replace. And we're going to replace the item ID. And yes, we want to use the UID from the crate. And yes, we want to leave the old items in the group so that it will, uh, so that the layout editor will pack the old items into the moving crate for me. So, okay. Long pause while. It thinks. Did I copy the... No, it's still thinking. Sorry about the weird window. It's having some issues. It will look like this while it's thinking. There we go. Um, still thinking, still thinking. There we go. So now we say save group, and we say working, we want to save it as working, we say save, and go back to the game, and we're just going to see how this looks, because I don't actually know how it's going to look. So working. Uh, 
There we go. Whew, scared me. I was like, why is nothing reappearing? Alright, so... That looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, and so now let's go with... Oh, so I did these upside down. I might want to flip them so that they're right side up, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, so that's the first step. Next, we come back here and we say we want to replace the half blocks, the iceberg half blocks, with what? blocks that I choose. Adamantine. So copy that item ID. So close. Um, oops, this is the type. That's why it doesn't look familiar. Here's the half blocks. Place. That. Say OK. There we go. Pause while I answer a question about the next contest Homes and Tones is hosting, which, by the way, will be sacred spaces. Um, you will get to build the worship uh, location of your choice. So, yes, me building this cathedral, or me talking about sacred spaces with people is what prompted me to actually finish this cathedral that I'm working on right now. So, I hope to see all sorts of lovely cathedrals, or temples, or groves to Tunar, or I don't even know, swimming pools to Praxis, you know, just something interesting. Or in the case of Mincipon, you know, the sacred cabbage, whatever you want to build a, a space, a uh, blah, blah, blah a worship location for, that would be great. Back to typing, because I kind of stopped typing in order to talk. Okay, um, so yeah, basically we're thinking of doing, uh, we haven't decided yet, so if you have uh, opinions on this whole thing, please feel free to uh, post on the, uh, what's it called, the Home Show Forums, because there's a thread there about the whole thing, and there's also um, a thread on the Homes and Tomes Forums about it so whichever one you want to do that would be great if you want if you have if you want to have input on this since this is the first time we're running this contest uh, we don't really have any plans yet well we have some ideas but we haven't really firm you know decided on anything um. So yeah, we're thinking either early or mid-June to start the contest, and we aren't sure yet, but we're leaning towards allowing any fantasy deity or item or person that you wish, but no real-life people, no real-life deities, no... I guess you can't really... I, come on. No real-life items either. And, and no duck mounts. I'm sorry, Tom Toby, but we are not building any altars to duck mounts. I refuse to judge duck mount uh, sacred spaces.
Okay, so... Short columns. So back to this. Doing short columns now, so I J K L N O P Q R S short column. Go back here. So ice bricks. I suppose I should save it and see what sort of patchwork thing comes up this time, huh? Alright, let's see. Still thinking. As soon as it finishes thinking, I will save it and load it just so I can see. going to pack away all of the white that I see the narrow dividers I, I can finish a thought really I can it's packing away all of the narrow the icy ice brick narrow dividers and replacing them and now the short columns and the blocks And as you can see, because I just did this patchwork stuff, these short blocks here are right on uh, these spots here, but I actually cheated and just used long, uh, tall, tall columns for the center bit, because actually I originally had uh, tall columns for the side bits too, and because they were tall, they extended out and you could see them, and it was just a mess, so I had to replace it with the short. That was a really big headache. Okay, so looking a little, like I said, it's looking a little patchwork here. You can see all the spots where I, I cheated a little bit and don't have things perfectly aligned. Like there, that's white, and there, that's a, a short one. And so now with, I think the final things are the tall columns and the uh, tall dividers. So. Do, 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 short columns, ice brick, yes, tall col oh, and the ice brick stairs. So, manifest ice brick stairs, in this case it is stair of blah blah blah, stair of fancy. Close, groups, place, blah blah blah, okay, uh, whoops. There it is. Tall columns, which this is going to be the uh, largest number of items that need to be replaced. So this is going to be painful. I'm going to leave the manifest open this time. So tall column here. And the groups. Select all of the tall columns. All of the tall columns. This is going to take a while. However, I now have the oops, layout well, editor is totally frozen, so I can't tab back to the manifest and select my tall divider. Oh well. I don't know why I'm getting impatient with it when I knew it was going to take a while since uh, it's, it, like I said, it's the number of, of items that have the uh, most... There were 300 and... 
350, well, 349, and I'm actually going to add one more column right here for a nice round 350 columns. Um, so yeah, it's, it's got some thinking to do. There we go. That works. Alright, so save group. And we we're going to copy fancy full divider. Scroll down past the tall columns down to tall dividers. Okay. There we go. Replace. Let it do its thing, and while it's doing its thing, I will keep running around in here and looking to see if the patchworkness shows any errors I should be aware of. I think no, but oops, I keep getting stuck on the benches. The really nice thing about building in the snowy dwelling is. One, I could build on the, the cardinal directions, that was nice, because this, as you can see, it faces uh, southeast-east, but two, there was flight. None of this staring up at things, I could actually fly up to them and look. So, okay, go here, save group, load working, let's see what happens as it switches things out. There we go, packing. Ooh, watch it just all disappear. Kind of crazy. Yeah, you can see all the spots where it shimmers because I didn't bother to uh, fix them since nobody could see them. They were hidden. Now they're not hidden anymore. But they will be hidden soon. Okay, so I wanted to see, yes, I like how that stands out. I, ch I couldn't decide between making this part, uh, oh, I'm going to have to flip this upside down so you can't see it anymore. <sighs> and I'm guessing it's going to be the same on this side, yep. Because in order to get the uh, ice bricks to be completely hidden, the fact that there was a stair there, um, I had to flip it upside down and move it. Obviously, that's not the case with this one right here. No, it's it's upside down. That's not good. Okay, looking around, this is suddenly not so eye blinding. It's going to take a little bit for me to get used to it being kind of this grayish color, but the stone stairs match a lot better. And. I no longer want to gouge my eyes out in order to uh, keep my eyesight. Okay, so I'm going to use um, the location of this cage here and um, I'm not sure what height that's at. I'll just use the cage and then I'll tweak it into position. So save the width. Back into moving crate without main diff. Um, there's captive audience. And oh, there were two tall columns of adamantine. Oh, so we have a couple extra. I, 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 I. <laughs> oh boy. Okay now. B-K-L-M-N-A-P-Q-P-Q-R-S-T. Tall column of edit. This is why I usually use the manifest, only, uh, I forgot. Oops, don't need to do that. I need to select this, right click, you can't see it. There's a menu, add to group. What group do I want to add it to? Well, diff group 5, because that's, yes, that's the one with captive audience. Alright, so copy. Location info, paste location info. However, the scale of this is 4, and I want it to roll 90. 
And I have no idea if it's rotated the right amount or not. So let's load working and the yeah. Let's try. We're just gonna rotate it 22.5 at a time. Because I'm not sure what it should be at to show up. Actually. I want to rotate it 90 at a time. Let's rotate it. it. said 90 and then I typed in 45. That was really good. Oh well, we'll just try 45. Getting close. Aha! Another 45 should do it. And there, oh dear. I need a short column, not a tall column. Well, let me get it into the let me get it to the right height, and then and then. Oh, that actually works because it hides it. So I was gonna replace it with a short column, but if oops, no, it needs to go up that one more. If I can make do with the tall column, then we'll just do it like that. There we go. So that hides the little piece of uh, original stonework that was showing through the stained glass right there. Okay. So, I think that's about it. Um, I'm actually going to have to go through at some point, and if you look right here, see this? You can see the join right there uh, between the two columns. So I'm going to have to go through and rotate each set of columns. Um, I don't remember by how much. I'll have to figure that out again, but that will, so for all of these three, oops, I'm going to have to do that, here, 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 huh, it doesn't show on this one, interesting, I might have to, uh, I can just figure out the rotation for this one and copy it, so rotate them all. All right, mm, that's actually kind of weird because it should be the same on both sides. There, there. Oh, it is right there. It is right there. You can. It's just that it's on the back side. So. Uh. Yeah. So, I think that's it. And, uh, the walls are a little busier than I'd like, but I didn't want to use the adamantine uh, dividers for the walls because I did that with the other cathedral, um, and unlike the other cathedral, I could not do, um, fancy fulginate for the, uh, the, the ribs and stuff like that because there are a couple spots right here, like right here, where I actually have the, whatchamacallit, the columns flipped around in the opposite direction uh, so that I could change how they were rotated. Um, and that would be really obvious with the fulginate with its curved pattern right here because the, the curves would be going this way and then suddenly there'd be an area with them going this way and that would not work. So, it's an interesting look. It's not quite what I had originally hoped for, but the white, uh, the white was just too white. And I think it would be great to have it in you know, one of the the city city fest tiles, but 
red would be too red and black would be too black and honestly I don't have 300 and whatever the heck number of uh, columns it was that I had that I used so this is the uh, current build and unless I can think of something else to use for the uh, for everything that's that this is how it's gonna stay uh, thanks for watching and hopefully you uh, oh, I have to fix that I'll fix it later hopefully you uh, saw something useful here.